new to our Toastmasters group, she'll be giving her icebreaker speech today. We look forward to hearing from her. Please welcome. I was in a quandary as to what I would speak about today and what I wanted to share with you. I decided that I would talk about where I grew up. There's a line from The Wizard of Oz that Dorothy says, and the line is, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Who's ever felt that way, that there's no place like home? For me, it was Iowa, and it is Iowa. I grew up in Iowa City. My father was transferred there with his work. He's a pharmacologist, was a pharmacologist at the University of Iowa. There's something about those green rolling cornfields and soybean bean fields that only those who grew up in Iowa can appreciate, I believe. So my childhood was playing jacks on the front step in the summertime. We loved tea parties at the local swimming pool since our family didn't have any air conditioning. We loved to make clover chains. I didn't realize that families had yards without just this sea of clover. In Iowa, you just mow whatever grows. That's your lawn. When I moved to Utah, I had to ask people, so how do you get these beautiful green lawns? And they told me about fertilizer. It was a completely new concept to me. When I was in junior high, I was babysitting for 25 cents an hour. I was delivering newspapers, a penny a paper, and at last I had enough collected that I could buy my own 10 speed twin bicycle. I felt like Columbus discovering America. I could ride anywhere I wanted with those 10 speeds. In fact, one of my best friends, she also had the very same bicycle. Mine was the neon green with sparkles. Hers was the light blue, so we didn't get them confused. And we rode everywhere. No cell phones, no bicycle patch kits, no water bottles, we just were like discovering anything that was new to us outside of our neighborhood. I didn't realize at that time in my life that was setting a precedence for actually how my life was going to unfold. I was going to be discovering lots of new things that many people that I grew up with and in my family had never done before. Take, for example, the fact that I decided once I was going to go to college to go to Iowa State University. Now remember, I grew up in Iowa City. Does anyone know? Iowa City is the home of the Hawkeyes, the University of Iowa, and I was going to the other school. And then I joined a sorority. I mean, why not? But my family thought, that's only for rich girls. And my sister thought, that's only for girls that have at least 100 bottles of different colored nail polish. But I loved my experience. I studied art and music, which my family felt was not quite a responsible direction in life. And then I was introduced to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, yeah. my freshman year of college. Now, it would have been fine to be Presbyterian as I'd grown up, Episcopalian as my dad was, Methodist as my sister was, Quaker as my aunt was, or any number of those religions. But I chose to join the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My family kept hoping that maybe I would grow out of that phase. And I was home for the Christmas break when I was 21, and I thought, I don't know exactly how I'm going to break this to my family. And my mom turned to me as we were driving in the car, and she said, so, Carolyn, are you going on a mission? Yes. I chose to go on a mission. I'm not sure there have been many Iowans that have served in Sweden, but I think I was the first. It was the perfect place for me. And then I came home from my mission, and I thought, wait a second, all my friends have graduated. There really aren't any boys here in Utah, I mean, in Iowa. I'm going to BYU. So while I was there, I, my very first day of class, I thought I should take a Swedish literature class. And there I met my husband again. 
one of the Swedish teachers when I was in the MTC, and we were married a year later in Oakland, California. Well, Oakland's a little far from Iowa, and it was a little far from North Carolina where my dad was living, so uh, no one came to my weddings. They didn't even meet my husband until after we were married. As I said before, I am one to do things unlike anyone else in my family. Not only did I marry my husband without anyone in my family ever meeting him, but I also have eight children, something that none of my family would have ever dreamed of doing. We've lived in Switzerland, we've lived in Austria, and we landed here in Utah. Growing up, I always wondered what a mountain looked like. I wondered what it would be like to one day see the ocean. And here I am in Utah, mountains all around. I have to tell you though, two weeks ago, I drove back to Iowa. There is nothing like crossing the Missouri River and seeing that sign, welcome to Iowa. It's my home. It's green. It's full of cornfields. It's full of soybean fields. And it's also where my family is. To me, Iowa, there's no place like home. Yeah.